Hey guys, welcome to Kids Kingdom Sunday School. I'm Miss Sarah and I want to start by apologizing to you guys because I made a mistake last week. I put together the Sunday School packets and I forgot to switch out the ones from the week before and put them in the take-home bin. So I'm sorry that you guys had leftover packets from the week before and that I forgot to put in the Sunday School packets for the right week. I can let you know that the right weeks are in there for this week and that there is a really fun craftivity and they are puppets of Moses and Miriam, like little, um, not so much puppets, but little um, cut out figures of Moses and Miriam that you guys can make out of um, construction paper at home. So there's a little template on the last page of your take-home packet. So be sure to check that out and um, let me know how they go. You can email me at christianed at pfumc.org and show me how your projects turned out. So again, apologize for the mix-up for last week and um, this week everything's good to go and the right packets are in the Sunday School take-home bin on the church porch this week. So sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. I found the packets in my office this week, and I was like, oh, no. I did not switch out the packets. So anyway, they're switched out. The right packets are in there this week, and we are good to go. So to start off our, our lesson this week, I have a question for you guys. What do you do when something really great happens? Maybe you throw a party. Maybe you shout. Maybe you want to tell someone right away. Maybe you run around and wave your arms. Maybe you smile. Maybe you cry happy tears. Maybe you want to give someone a hug. Maybe you want to jump up and down. Maybe you do a combination of these things. Maybe you do something totally different. Our story today is about a celebration. We have been talking about Moses and the Israelites, and they have been through a roller coaster of events. They have been slaves. God freed them through Moses. The Pharaoh changed his mind and then sent his army after them to recapture them. And they thought that they were goners for sure. And then God parted the Red Sea and they were able to walk through on dry land, but then their enemies followed them and they thought they were in trouble again, but then the enemies didn't make it and then they were on the other side and they were finally free. And that is where we're going to pick up our story today and we're going to see what they did. Our story is found in your Bibles in Exodus 15 verses 1 through 21. And I'm going to read it from the Contemporary English, no, the Common English Bible. There is a version of the Bible that starts with Contemporary, but I'm reading it from the Common English Bible. And again, that's Exodus 15 verses 1 through 21. I'm going to read it from the Version app right on my phone. So you guys can't see it, but there's the Bible right there on my phone. So it's kind of handy. I always have it in my pocket ready to go. So this is what it says. Exodus 15, starting with verse 1. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord for an overwhelming victory. Horse and rider he threw into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my power. He has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise. The God of my ancestors whom I will acclaim. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. His elite captains were sunk into the Red Sea. The deep sea covered them, and they sank into the waters like a stone. Your strong hand, Lord, is a dominant power. Your strong hand, Lord, shatters the enemy. With your great sur surge, you overthrow your opponents. You send them out you send out your hot anger. It burns them up like straw. You're with breath, with the breath of your nostrils, the waters swelled up. The floods surged up in a great wave. The waters foamed in the depths of the sea. The enemy said, I'll pursue, I'll overtake. 
I'll divide the spoils of war. I'll be overfilled with them. I'll draw my sword. My hand will destroy them. You blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in the towering waters. Who is like you among the gods, Lord? Who is like you, foremost in holiness, worthy of highest praise, doing awesome deeds? You raised your strong hand. Earth swallowed them up. With your great loyalty, you led your people, you rescued. With your power, you guided them to your sanctuary. The peoples heard, they shook in terror. Horror grabbed hold of Philistia's inhabitants. Then Edom's tribal chiefs were terrified. Panicked grabbed hold of Moab's t rulers. All of Canaan's inhabitants melted in fear. Terror, terror and fear came over them because of your great power. They were as still as a stone until your people, Lord, passed by, until the people you made your own passed by. You brought them in and planted them on your own mountain, the place, Lord, that you made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, that your hand created. The Lord will rule forever and always. When Pharaoh's chariots and cavalry went into the sea, the Lord brought back the waters of the sea over them, but the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. Then the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand. All of the women followed her, playing tambourines and dancing. Miriam sang the refrain back to them. Sing to the Lord for an overwhelming victory. Horse and rider he threw into the sea. So, the Israelites were on the other side, safe and sound. And they were led in a song of victory by Moses. And he talked about in his song all that had happened. More importantly, all that God had done. And then Miriam, his sister, led the people in a chorus of praise while playing the tambourine. So they sang and praised God. It sounds like, kind of like a church service broke out right there on the shores of the Red Sea, which is kind of cool. They were so grateful what God had done that they stopped right there and they just praised him. They just thanked him. They were really in awe of everything that God had done. And that is our faith word, isn't it? Awe means that they, it's a feeling of wonder inspired by God. And that's exactly what they were feeling. They were inspired by God. They were overwhelmed with wonder by what they had seen God do for them. What have you guys been awed by or amazed by this past week? I was outside yesterday and I was looking at the trees and I was just awed by the beautiful colors. And I was just so amazed by all the beauty in the creation that God had placed around me. And I really was enjoying that. It took a few minutes to enjoy that. And I also was awed by the time that God had given me with my family this past week. Last week, the kids had some time off school. And so I had just enjoyed some time with them. And I, I just was just in awe of that because sometimes we take those things for granted and I was just pretty amazed by that time that God had given me with them. So I want you guys to take some time this week and think about what things have I been awed by God by this week. So think about that because there's always things that God's doing. There's always things to be awed by and just take some time and think about it this week because God's doing amazing things all the time. Moses, Miriam, and the rest of the Israelites were so awed by the things that they experienced that they couldn't keep it inside. They had to let it out. And they started singing. And when they started singing, everybody else joined in. They were so happy they couldn't keep it inside. So they started praising. Praise and gratitude are contagious. They really, really are. But so are negativity and complaining. Maybe you've noticed this. You can put this to the test. If you're together with a group of people, even if it's just a small group, and one of you starts complaining about something, maybe you're complaining about, oh, it's so cold out. 
oh, um, school was so, so terrible today, you might notice that the people around you will start complaining too. On the other hand, if you talk about positive things like, oh, wasn't it a great day today? Um, I'm so, my mom makes the best lunch. Um, other positive things that you can think of. Um, it's going to be a great weekend. I had a great weekend. Other people talk about positive things that happen in their life too, because positive brings breeds positive. And the interesting thing is that as we go through our story, we're, we're going to continue looking at the life of Moses and the lives of the Israelites. And we're going to see this principle play out as we look at their lives. And we're going to learn more about how this happens in the weeks to come. And we're going to see what exactly how this works. And we're going to see how this, this kind of behavior is contagious, how positivity breeds positivity and how negativity can breed negativity. And we're going to see how that actually plays out in these people's lives. We're going to learn more about that in the next few weeks. But back to this week, the people are expressing their gratitude through praise. Just like you can show how you're happy when something great happens in a lot of different ways. We can praise God in a lot of different ways. You can use, you can praise God through a gratitude journal. Some of you guys made a gratitude journal a couple weeks ago. Maybe you even made it again last week because I left it in the box two weeks in a row. Sometimes you can praise God through singing songs like Moses and Miriam did in our story. Sometimes you can play, praise God by playing an instrument. I know some of you guys play an instrument. We have um, some piano players. We have some saxophone players. We have clarinet players. We have trumpet players. We have all kinds of instrument players out there. Maybe you ha you play a different instrument. Let me know what you play. You can have mom or dad text me, post on Kids Kingdom Facebook page, or you can email me, christianedpfumc.org. I'd love to know what instrument you play. Maybe you can play it at church sometime. We'd love to hear it. Sometimes you can even just praise God by taking a walk and enjoying his creation, praising him for it as you walk through it. Sometimes you can praise God by reading one of his psalms. Like we we do sometimes we do that sometimes in Sunday school. Sometimes you can praise God by writing your own psalm. Sometimes you can draw a picture or paint a picture while you're listening to worship music. That's a way to worship God. Sometimes you can worship God by dancing. Sometimes we worship God by taking communion. All these are ways that we express our thanks and gratitude and worship to God. Maybe you have more ideas. Again, let me know how you worship God, what way you love to worship God. Email me at christianette at pfumc.org and let me know your favorite way to worship God. One of the ways that we can worship God together is by working on our memory verses. Because when we spend time in God's word together, when we spend time learning God's word together and keeping that in our heart, we're, we're getting to know God better. And when we get to, when we're spending time with God and knowing him better, that's another way that we're worshiping him. So we've been working on this memory verse the whole month. You guys probably know it better than I do. I always mix up a couple words in this memory verse, so I'm going to read it right off the paper. It's from Exodus 14, 31b, and it says, The people were in awe of the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. So I know you guys have been working on that at home. You probably have it memorized by now. But just in case you don't, you have a couple more. You have Well, today's the 31st, so you have the rest of the day to work on that and get that down. And I hope that you guys are having a great day. I hope that you guys have a happy Halloween. And I hope that I will see you back here next week. But before we go, let's say a quick prayer and ask God to help us to just spend some time enjoying his presence and worshiping him this week. Just like Moses and Miriam and the rest of the Israelites were able to do in our story this week. So will you guys pray with me? God, we love you. We I love this story this week because sometimes... We forget how important it is to worship and praise you. And sometimes we forget that we can do that on more days than just Sunday. So help praise and worship to be a part of our lives every day. God, thank you for your son. Thank you for your love for us. And thank you that we can have worship time with you every day. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.